Good morning, Americans. This is your favorite alien and Bubba here on the morning of Thursday, November 5th, 2020. Stand by for an editorial. Well, this is an editorial on uh, Joe Biden's speech of yesterday, 11 4 20. And here we go. Dear Mr. Biden, this is your favorite alien. I listened to your speech yesterday. One thing I can tell you, number one, it's 20 years too late. Number two, you're right on the part that the United States president should be for all Americans. And then you went back and hit it on the point when you said, I'm a Democrat, but I'm going to be a president to all Americans. No, because, uh, Mr. Biden, you can't be a Democrat and an American. You can't be a Republican and an American. Because you're putting Republicans ahead of Americans. And you're putting Democrats ahead of Americans. That is the problem that you've had for the last 240 years. Actually, 160 years you've had this problem. And you started with compromises. You never got to consensus. And you started deteriorating. Then you went to uh, partisanship. Then you went down to discord and now you're an absolute blatant factions an open war that's where you are president or biden because you're going to be president and the last president of the united states to boot because it's no longer the united states it hasn't been the united states for over 60 years it's been the disunited factions of america and you are a prime example of that. Look at your party, what you call Democrats. You got the squad there that are so far to the left, it's not even funny. Like uh, AOC and Tlaib and Omar. And then you got on the Republican side, far right, like Trump and his cohorts. In the Congress and in the Senate. And you got inept guys like McConnell. And you got really far right guys like his cohort over there from Kentucky, who is as cohort as you can get. So you see, you got a problem with both parties. And all you're doing is changing one faction in for the next. You're going from right to left. And the American people think that the, if the Democrats can't do it, Republicans can, and if Republicans can't do it, the Democrats can. And they're getting themselves deeper in a hole. And I think this is the hole is deep enough. You can't dig no more. It's time to put the dirt back in the hole with you guys, Republicans, Democrats, and the stupid American people in there. Because you dug this hole, all three of you. You let the United States die. You know that Trump is not going to go away without a fight or a coup d'etat. And you can't govern Mr. Biden. You know that yourself. You're 78 years old for one. Number two, your Democratic Party is in such factions it's not even funny. They're worse than the Republicans. And that's bad because the Republicans are terrible. Speaking from another planet, I can tell you, you guys haven't got... We had to have 25 people on our planet and said, enough is enough. This planet doesn't want to change. We got people that uh, wanted to change. And at the end, we left with 500,000. We found a new home. And a century later, our home planet blew itself up because of its differences. And that's what you got here, Mr. Biden. You got... Not people, but factions. The people don't matter anymore. They haven't mattered for at least 40 years since Ronald Reagan took over with the Reaganites. And then you had Clinton that didn't do much of a difference, and Obama and your administration, which really sealed the fate. Then you got the worst of all deals, Trump. Then they got you. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So you see... Mr. Soon-to-be President Biden. This is your favorite lady. I'm telling you, you got a no-win situation here. You got a virus out of control. You're just like your cohorts 100 
years ago in 1920. Warren G. Harding and Calvin Coolidge. And look at who you got today. You and Camilla. He's a segregationist. Harris. That's what she told you, isn't it? And you still put her as a vice president? They wanted to put Calvin Coolidge where he couldn't hurt anybody in 1920. And you had the pandemic. You guys are saying, oh, we got 240,000 dead. Really? You had over 628 plus thousand dead. How many infected? Nobody kept tr track of that. Anyway, you lost 620,000. That's more than World War II. That's why you, you put your, your civil war about the same as the civil war that you lost there. You don't pay no attention to that. You don't got no answers to, the, uh, to this virus either. You don't have no answers to how to rule America, how to rule these this united factions of America. This is your favorite alien and Bubba saying, it's about time to put the dirt back in this hole with you guys in it. Good day.